Hello, my darlings. Thank you so much for stopping by Stella Roos today. I am so excited to bring to you this wonderful recipe that I have. It's probably nothing no one else has ever already, hadn't already done, basically. However, I am excited because I want to show you how I do it. Because I have transitioned into a plant-based lifestyle, I'm getting really inventive with my recipes. Uh, so today, I am going to make for you or show you how I make crispy cauliflower salad. The cauliflower is actually in place of chicken. When I normally make this salad, I make it for my husband and my mom with crispy chicken. But today I'm making crispy cauliflower. So I wanted to share it with you. I'm excited to share it with you. And we're also going to make homemade from scratch croutons so from, from fresh bread made at, by a gentleman that I run into at the farmer's market regularly. So I thank you guys for stopping by. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty guys, so the first part of this recipe requires us to get our cauliflower ready. Now what I've already done is steam this cauliflower um, so that it's cooked just a tad. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to season it before we fry it up and yes we're frying today so I'm going to use some of my herb sea salt that I have my celery herb sea salt hopefully you can see that and I'm just going to season it a little bit with that I'm going to toss that around okay and see how I had it I cut it into small pieces because it's a crispy cauliflower full of salad so we don't want the cauliflower too too big and we're gonna put some of this aside and make some buffalo cauliflower with it but the rest of it will go on the salad <laughs> okay now also what we've done is we we've had actually blanched some green beans and then they're soaking in some um, red wine vinaigrette for the salad as well so now that we've tossed that all we have to do is coat this with a little batter. You can use uh, some um, flour and milk or just even milk and then toss it around in some uh, flour. So we're going to coat this with a little batter and then I'm using almond milk today. So, sorry, I'm going to coat this with a little batter and then we're going to use, I'm using almond milk to coat it and then we're going to flour it and get it ready to fry. Okay. And I am so sorry for the shot if you guys can't see. Hopefully you can. So we got our cauliflower that we've already seasoned up a little bit. And remember, I steamed it ahead of time and pre-cook it. Because when you put it in the oil, you want to make sure that you don't have to cook it like too long. Because you don't want it hard. It's in there. What I've done, I've taken some almond milk and a little bit of flour. And made me a little bit of a batter. I'm just going to pour it over the cauliflower. And then I'm going to just toss it around. Now this is a trick of mine. You don't have to use it. But I like to use it. And if you can hear it in the background. The oil is already heating up. So in this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little strainer bowl. Colander type bowl. Then I'm going to take my cauliflower. And put it in there. I learned this trick. <laughs> from my grandmother. Uh, years ago on frying things so you don't make a big big mess with the you know back in the day we used to put everything in a um, paper bag and toss it around to fry it and I know we don't do fried foods a lot but I like my cauliflower kind of crispy so I want to do it this way but she showed me this <laughs> and I've been doing it this way ever since so now I have a cup of flour here okay and in this flour I'm going to put a little bit of the sea salt that I have a little parsley because I want it to have flavor in it and then I'm going to use a little bit of the black sesame seeds that I have left over from when we were making the croutons that smell amazing right now they're almost done let you know how quick and easy this recipe is I'm going to stir that around and if you know anything about me you know I like to season my flour and then I have one of our seasonings that's new to Stella Ruth and it's called onion pepper and I'm going to put a little of that in there that one is going up on the website in a couple of days so this is something I used it on now I'm going to take my flour and sprinkle it on to my cauliflower see now I'm just going to shake that around so I can get flour all over 
But you see, I'm not making a big mess because <laughs> I'm covering it all the while making sure that I contain the flower spillage. I'm making a little bit of a mess, but not a big one. If I had a bigger bowl, I didn't think that through. <laughs> it wouldn't be so. And then that way it's not all cakey and messy. Okay, so now we're going to go over to the stove and get this fried up. It's completely coated and ready to roll. In one at a time because you don't want to overcrowd the pot. And you don't want to put too many in because you don't want them to be soggy. You want them to be crispy. So we're going to drop in about five or six of them. Okay, guys, see how they're starting to kind of float? That kind of means that they're really done. Uh, you can brown them as much as you would like, but I like mine about this color here. See, I don't like too much batter. That's why I toss it the way I do so that the batter is all nice and and it's crispy and not bread bready. That's the best way I could describe it. And there. Okay, guys. So to get us ready for our croutons that we're making today, this is a piece of a half loaf of a sourdough bread that I got from the farmers market. And get our little cutting board here. We're gonna take this loaf and we're gonna cut it into cubes. Okay. You're also gonna need to get this prepared and I've already uh, preheated my oven to 425 you're going to need a little parsley about a tablespoon and a half of parsley you're going to need some flaked salt I got some flaked sea salt here uh, about a tablespoon and a half of that I have some black sesame seeds and then two teaspoons of rosemary and then we're going to use a little garlic chopped garlic and some melted uh, Clarify, but we're going to get a knife and cut this up. So, to get this prepared, you see we're going to take our knife and we're just going to cut it. Sorry, microwave was going. We're just going to cut it into slices and then make squares out of it. And this actual sourdough, the gentleman that, and I'll tag him in this video, but the gentleman that, um, <laughs> does this bread he's in at a farmers market in South Carolina in Charleston South Carolina it's called the Sunday brunch farmers market and he's there every Saturday and he told me that this was made with red whole wheat, red wheat flour so I'm not going to use the end I'm going to put that back and use it for something else later okay and then all I'm doing is just cutting the bread into cubes and I'm taking these and cut them into cubes and they look lovely. We're going to take this bowl and we're going to dump this bread into the bowl. Like I said, I've already preheated my oven to 425. Okay, so now that we've already cut our bread into cubes and they look lovely. So we're going to get... about a quarter cup of our clarified butter. Some people use oil. I prefer the butter. That's just my preference. And I just melted the clarified butter down. And you just need I'm going to take that the bread and mix it around. For me, I mean oil is wonderful, but sometimes <laughs> this is my little cheat day. Now, we're going to take our garlic, put that in, we're going to take just a couple of pinches of the salt, and that's just a flaky sea salt guys. We're going to take our parsley, a couple of pinches of that, we're going to put in a couple of pinches of the rosemary. Even though we have the measurements, a lot of times it doesn't use all of what we're going to use. And it's not as okay. And a couple of pinches of the black sesame seeds. And then we're just going to toss that around so that it gets coated in the seasonings with that butter. Now, 
We're going to take a cookie sheet and then we're going to take these bread, bread cubes and place them onto the cookie sheet. And we're going to spread them out. Make sure they're not stacked on top of each other because you want them to get nice and toasty. It should only take about seven, eight minutes for them to toast. Not even that long. So you got to watch it because you got your oven up high. So you got to make sure you're watching it really close. But it, should, it shouldn't take it very long to toast at all. And we're going to put that in the oven just like that. Look at that. The breadcrumbs are out. They're nice and crispy. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All righty, darlings. So we got our croutons, which are nice and crispy and look absolutely delicious. I'm going to taste one. Y'all can't see me, but oh, it's a good crouton. And it's sourdough made with red wheat flour. That's what he told me. So that's a beautiful crouton. Came out the oven. It was only in the oven about nine minutes at 425. Just got to keep watching it. Then we have our crispy cauliflower that looks absolutely delicious. Now before I show y'all our salad, I'm going to show y'all a trick. So we're going to take an empty bowl and some of this cauliflower I'm going to set aside for buffalo cauliflower. So what I'm doing is I'm putting those few in here. And then I'm going to take some buffalo sauce which is store bought. I, did, I, did, I was lazy today. I didn't make none. So we're going to put some buffalo sauce on it. And I made a mess. <laughs> put some buffalo sauce on it and then toss. Toss it around. Bam. Buffalo cauliflower. Lovely. Alright, so we're going to put our salad together and you show you guys what it looks like. It will be right back. Alrighty guys, there you have it. A wonderful crispy cauliflower salad. You can do this salad with crispy chicken. There's not a problem. Any kind of meat you want to use. I just wanted to share with you how I did it. And we made us some beautiful croutons from scratch from a nice loaf of bread that we got from the farmer's market. So I thank you so much for stopping by and just spending a little time with me today. If you want to get any of the seasonings that we use that are Stella Roos seasonings, check the box down below. Our website and everything, the link is in the box below. Also, you can catch us on Facebook and Instagram or you can send us an email at StellaRuth2930 at gmail.com. And just because I need to give the plug, StellaRuth with an S dot com is the website. <laughs> <laughs> got to give you that plug. Don't forget to go by and check and see what all kind of things we have. We have some new items on the website as well. I really, really, truly appreciate you guys. I thank you so, so much for just sticking with me all this time. As always, we want you to like the video if you like it. Share it with someone that might want to do something different or try something different or try some plant-based recipes. And guess what? Subscribe and encourage other people to subscribe. We love having new family members. So I thank you. And as always, I love you, love you, love you. God bless you. Guys, stay safe. Socially distance. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. And have a beautiful 